This is more The Real Creatures of Prime Evil. I'm the director of the Dinosaur Institute here at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. It is estimated that 99.99% of everything ever alive is extinct. That gives you a sense of how many different kinds of forms live in prehistoric times. So obviously, paleontologists are very specialized. Some work with dinosaurs, some work with synapsids, some work with uh, mosasaurs, some work with Dracorex. <laughs> Dracorex lived in the late Cretaceous. The climate was hotter than today. The region in which Dracorex lived was a coastal region because at that time there were no ice caps. The sea levels were much higher than those of today. There was a sea that cut across North America. So although Dracorex was found in South Dakota, South Dakota was coastal at the time because it was on the shore of this internal sea. The Dracorex of uh, Primeval um, looks a lot more like a dragon than what the real dinosaur looked like. It has a pair of sails, almost like wings in the back. We have absolutely no evidence that these animals have these sails. It has very long horns that make it look like a Chinese dragon. And again, we have no evidence that that was the case. Certainly, if you look at the skull of Dracorex, there's some pretty large knobs in the back of the skull, but that probably wasn't supporting a very long horn. Some scientists believe that Dracorex is actually a young Pachycephalosaurus, a dome-headed dinosaur that lived about 66, 68 million years ago in places like Montana. And that's, I think, that's very possible. Dinosaurs, as they grew from babies to adults, they changed in appearance, just the same way that we change in appearance. So we're not uh, upscale versions of our babies, and adult dinosaurs were not upscale versions of their babies. And Dracorex, even though it belongs to the group that we call dome-headed dinosaurs, the head, uh, the skull of Dracorex is flat. But there are studies indicating that the dome of the dome-headed dinosaurs developed with age. As these animals were aging, they formed these very thick, distinct domes. And that's suggestive that Dracorex was a young um, Pachycephalosaurus. How can you tell that? By looking at the histology or the structure of the bone tissue. The tissue that essentially makes up the bone is preserved even in animals that are 70 million years old. In scientists cut paper-thin slices of the bones, and by looking at uh, the characteristics of that tissue, uh, you can tell whether the animal was a full-grown animal or whether it was a young animal. So if you have, say, in the case of Dracorex, an animal that lived at the same time as Pachycephalosaurus, but is smaller, and it happens to be a young individual, then you may say, hmm, it may be you know, a young Pachycephalosaurus. Otherwise, where are the young Pachycephalosaurus? The baby Pachycephalosaurus, or, you know, the, the teenage Pachycephalosaurus. But there are different camps, and not everybody agrees with that. Dracorex, like all the uh, dome-headed dinosaurs, were uh, primarily plant eaters. They were herbivores. Uh, uh, it, it is possible that from time to time they could have supplemented their diet with something that was not a plant. Uh, but they were certainly not predators. No, they would definitely not have gone uh, chasing after people, maybe more uh, their garbage, you know, or, or their, their leftover carrot. Watch more The Real Creatures of Prime Evil each Wednesday at 8 on KCGT.